Hey guys, this is FIFA Rally here, and welcome to another video on my channel. Finally, for the first time in almost three weeks, we have another upload out, and they are now going to be daily again, and if I do sound a little bit different than normal, that's because I do have a cold, and I am pretty ill. It caught on during this week, because I've just been really stressed out, starting off for exams, and not been getting much sleep, and I think that led to me getting a cold, and hopefully it'll be gone as soon as possible, but uh, yeah, I really wanted to upload a video again, because yesterday I had my final difficult exam, if that's the way to put it. I have two more exams to go, but they are sort of somewhat easier than the other exams have been up to, and at the same time, they're kind of further apart, so I have a lot of time to read up for those, so uh, it means I have a lot of time in my hands now. I can uh, record gameplay again, upload some videos, and we will kind of have two things going, at least for now. It'll be the Less FIFA 14 series, which will return tomorrow, and then the World Cup edition of Ultimate Team. This is episode one of that kind of new series. I have no clue what to call it, so if you have any ideas for that, leave a comment down below, and I'll look through some of the suggestions so we can get a name to this series, but... Uh, yeah, I decided to support Brazil in this game because, well, I wanted to support Denmark, you could not do that, then a Scandinavian country, but guess what, none of the Scandinavian countries qualified for the World Cup, so I just decided to go with the host nation, which was Brazil, I opened up my starter pack, and this was the team I ended up with, so... It's not exactly the best players, um, we have Asamoah as our only full star skiller playing on the left wing. We got Fela Ine, which is kind of big and strong and maybe we can get a few skill moves going with him. With him. And finally Boateng was our best player which we got in the defense 83, wa 83 rated and uh, this was my first time playing FIFA in about 3 weeks and I had a 50 chemistry team and I came up against some sort of decent team I guess on this game mode at least here in the start because it takes a little while before you get the perfect chemistry and I was really struggling in this game I had a difficult time creating anything whatsoever I got a few chances into the second half but in the end I would lose the game to that own goal from the corner unfortunately so probably the worst start I could have gotten to uh, to this kind of road to glory or whatever it is because I ended up getting a loss in my first game but I do go out and open up a free pack and this was not something I realized after I played a few games that you actually do get a free player after each game you play which is not too bad and that will that is kind of the way we will shape up our team and then all the match coins I get in this series and the coins I get from qualifying from the group stages and how far I now get in the knockout stages, those coins will go to open packs in this series, but I will not be using any of the coins I have combined with the last few 14 series because this is the same account and if you look in the top left hand corner when I'm, when I'm out in the main menu you can see I have a bunch of coins and that's because that's the coins I use on the last FIFA 14 series so basically I'll only be using the coins I earn in this kind of series uh, to open packs and then of course when you open a pack in this game mode you get a free pack on regular ultim ultimate team so that will kind of lead to us getting more packs in the last FIFA 14 series if that makes sense but uh, back to the gameplay we did lose our first uh, game in the group stages but into the second uh, into the second game we scored two goals and the second one was quite nice here from our creation uh, center mid I believe he's 64 rated and he scored a really nice goal made my opponent raid squid and that means we pick up our first three points in the in the group stages basically and it gave us a little bit of hope because at least four points, maybe we can get on through with that. Six points ensures us going through, and um, yeah, it was good to get those three points because if we had lost that game, we have been out of the group stages. So uh, we'll continue on into the final game of the group stages, and Fellaini to get the first goal in the fifth minute, f fifth minute, and he gets another one from a corner. It's not exactly the most beautiful goals I'm scoring here because. It is a little bit, little bit difficult when you only have one four-star skiller and you have bad chemistry. But eventually, as I got a comfortable lead, I went uh, on with a few skill moves trying to see if I could get a cool goal. And here it's Azamoa on the ball into the box. We try out the shot. It is saved. The clearance falls to Fellaini who goes for his hat-trick. But it deflects off Azamoa who actually gets a goal that way and we make it a 4-1. But a few minutes later, he would have break on through to get a goal back. But it didn't really matter too much. We had a comfortable lead and we're actually not quite done in this game. In the 90th minute, uh, Gabi Adini, he'll play it on through to Fellaini. He stops up and another deflection. But this time around, he will be awarded the goal, complete his hat trick. 
and the game ends at 5 to 2. So uh, we get 2,500 coins for advancing in the number one spot uh, off the group stage into the knockout stages. And uh, we do also get a free pack. And this was where I realized you got free packs for every single game because I was not aware that I got a free pack after the race quit. So uh, I had two packs to open here. We got Seko and we did get some Mosa. And Seko, he is now my best player in my club. 84 rated striker. But if you know me, he's not really my kind of striker. I would use him into, into the round of 16 of the knockout stages because he was my best player to play but he's a big target man can win headers and got three star skills I would much rather have a four star skill a little bit quick on the feet on the top but uh, for now that was the best we could go with but unfortunately we end up conceding a goal very early into this game and uh, that was not something I wanted but straight from the kickoff it's Fellaini on the ball he breaks on through here and in the end we'll actually pick up a corner and uh, this is where we can use Seko to some extent he wins the header he makes it a 1-1 and we get the equal Equalizer Pereira on the ball here plays on through to Alvarez we try out the shot and in the end we pick it up with Pereira again and he will get a goal to bring me up 2-1 into the second half and just one minute after we're on the ball again Fellaini on the ball to Asamoah he goes past one defender uh, punches or uh, touches it it aside another defender past a third one into the box and he gets a goal in off the post to make it a free one a nice little goal there and that is how that game ends so it means we're into the quarterfinals of the World Cup and we'll play that in tomorrow's uh, maybe not tomorrow's the day after tomorrow because I think tomorrow will be less FIFA 14 but in the next episode we will be playing uh, into the later stages of the tournament but anyways we're going to end off this video here I hope you enjoyed leave me some suggestions for a name to this series and that is pretty much all thank you for watching and i'll talk to you later